Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs and yeah, <laughs> as you can see I didn't bother tidying my desk before doing this video because I thought, well, why would I? I'm going to be doing the same things I've just been doing. So why put them all away to get them all back out? So yeah, we've got, <laughs> you can see the tidiest part of my desk. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing with some of the bits I got from BB Craft. Uh, if you watch the unboxing video, you'll have seen these. These are the little ribbon ends. Uh, you make, they're supposed to be used to make ribbon bracelets, I think. But I don't do that. I've got my leaf charms. Loads of them. I'm going to use a couple of these. And my ball chain. Enough ball chain to last me forever. This is that antique bronze. I love it. So... I'll show you a couple of the little bits that I've been playing with. I have used the ribbon ends before to make little charms. This is a new one. I don't I don't know 100% if I like this one yet. But I can just imagine it there dangling on inside or outside of a journal. Yeah, I've used some burlap ribbon, some of my ribbon ends, a little flower charm and one of my little prestered flowers that I make. Uh, another one, I've not finished that one, I've just put a piece of ribbon gripped. I'm going to put some ball chain in that thing and hang it on something. You can attach whatever you want to this. You could even use it in if you had a little needle book or a sewing journal to put your pins and needles in. Yeah, what else did I make? Oh, I made another one here that I used a bulb pin rather than any chain. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of crochet lace doubled over. I've put a leaf charm on that. And you could put something else through it. You could use it, I don't know. <laughs> could even be a keyring, that I suppose. Yeah, yeah, you could put a keyring. And, mm, yeah, could be. Anyway, I'm going to just show you how I made these. Oh, the last thing I made. This is something I've used the ribbon ends for before. A little closure for this journal that's been ongoing for quite a while. I've got loads of unfinished projects, so there's always an unfinished project to do something with. And this is just some way too much jute twine. And I've used a length of crochet lace again with a ribbon end on each side. And yeah, some jute twine so you can adjust the closure to the size of your journal. You can then pin and clip anything you want on this. I just think it finishes it off. I have used an embossing folder to make cogs on the front of this little steampunky style journal. So I didn't I didn't want to cover those up because I think they're lovely. So yeah, that's a little journal closure, some little charms. So let's get playing. Right. Let's do one of these. Yeah, a journal closure. And then we can pin some charms on with a bulb clip. So I've got an assortment of crocheted lace here. I've also got some of this burlap ribbon. It's strange stuff this. But it's very, ooh, very tactile. I think I'll make one with this. I choose ribbons that are the exact same widths as these little ends. What they are, it's just they've got a hole there so you can hang something on or attach a finding, a jump ring and then that grips onto your fabric. Now I have got quite a bit of strength so I can actually put these on with my fingers and no pliers usually. So you just put the ribbon in, that goes over there and just start to press. The other way we can do it is this. Look at me, let me get everything back out of the way. Put it flat on your mat. I've got my rubbery mat out here. That's just so that when I'm playing with all these little bits and bobs, they're less likely to roll off because the rubber holds them where you want them. Did you hear my finger crack then? That crazy. I'm not actually using that much pressure. I've just got creaky old joints. Yeah. Now you could finish closing that up with your fingers. You really could. But if you've got pliers that do the job use them i just close it up enough with my fingers to make sure it's gripping in the exact right place i want it i don't want it wonky then i come in with my 
acrylic they've just got two acrylic pads on not too soft not too hard and it just puts less of a mark on when you're crimping anything like this such as book corners so i'll just pop one on there uh let's say i'm going to use this for a journal roughly this size again i might have it coming a little bit closer i just wrap my burlap around then i'll cut it off right we can see that end takes up that much room so the next end will take up that much room plus we want a little bit of a gap so they're not knocking together so i'm going to cut it about there i can never cut this stuff straight either so when i've cut it i always have to cook look can you see it's i don't know it's very strange ribbon i don't even know if i'd buy this again when i've used it up this one wasn't from BB Craft, it was just some random Amazon or eBay buy. Let's get rid of those bits. Then I shall get another ribbon end piece. It's so simple this. Put my burlap in. Which I've got. It's another one of them I can't tell when I'm not directly over it. I think that's straight enough yeah then i'll come in with my acrylic pliers and just finish squeezing it you know the ones that i've just buried on my desk under all the ribbon there we go that's it so they're both on nice and secure they're going nowhere i wonder if the ball chain that i've got would fit through that hoop i'm not sure oh no the hoop's just too small for that because i just had another idea no so i'll use some burlap twine again i do love using that stuff i'll go through yards of it again i'll i need to check if bb craft have any of this these are the things i bought before i discovered bb craft so I did say in my unboxing, it's, I'm not using their stuff just because I am. I've used BB Craft for quite a while. They have some really good stuff. Coming with my scissors again. So I'm going to cut a double length of burlap and then I'm going to cut another one exactly the same length. One for each end of my ribbon closure. Right. right i'm not going to tie this one i'm just going to thread it through because i might change my mind on what i'm going to use in this so there you go i tied the other one permanently because i knew that's what i wanted but this one i might change my mind it's a woman's prerogative isn't it so that's that one let's have a look what this one would look like i might change my mind and use this on here yeah i like that yeah and just tie it and as you fill the journal then as it expands with all your bits and pieces you just don't need to tie it quite so tight and i'm not going to shorten those because i don't know i want them short there we go cute little journal closure i really quite like that so we'll pop that one out of the way then i'll show you these are the little ones i made that one like, i don't i don't 100 know if i like that i don't know at the moment what i would use it in whereas these other little ones i know i would definitely use them well you might like it i can change what's there you could put anything on there you could put a little word i'll show you what that's like i'm gonna undo this pressed flower i just chomped a little hole in it like I say, you could put anything on it doesn't have to be this pressed flower you could glue something on or place something else on let's have a look see oh hang on i'm not using these today but i this is the other thing that i got from bb craft that i'm not i've got another plan for these might these be a bit chompy on that yeah oh yeah whoa whoa <laughs> 
look at that <laughs> yeah that's a bit big and chompy i think it's not in keeping but this one might be oh yeah i don't know i think i like that i do i don't know i print middle yet though maybe a bead because there were not many of these antique bronze one in this uh, little kit that's supposed to be a your hair clip making kit i'd perhaps then put a little bead or a flat back pearl in the middle of that mm, i really don't know which i like best anyhow i'll decide when i decide what i'm putting it on for now i'm going to put my paper clip flower back in there we go <laughs> paper clip pressed it i can't speak yeah so I need to put a warning at the beginning of this, at each video, please be aware <laughs> the commentary and the actions quite often have nothing to do with each other. Can you imagine me doing a voiceover for something? I'd be like, no, it wouldn't happen. Right, let's grab some lace and make one of these. I like this one. It's so simple, but so effective, I think. I'm going to make a wider one. I tend to always go for the lace that's symmetrical. I'm going to try for one that's not symmetrical. And I'm going to use an even bigger ribbon end clip. I've not used one of these big, wide, chompy ones. Let's measure some of these while we're playing. This biggest one is... Oh, that's an inch nearly. Yeah. An inch. It is an inch. It's not nearly. It is. Two and a half centimetres. The one with the flower that I'm undecided on is two centimeters which is three quarters of an inch and then this one is one and a quarter centimeter i'm gonna say which is half an inch so they're obviously done <coughs> originally in inches aren't they so let's see if i've got some lace that will go nicely in this big one no it's, it's gonna overhang i need to find the perfect thing to go with the big one i'm gonna use this next next biggest <laughs> the two centimeter three quarter of an inch one let's just fold that over and see if i'm gonna like i don't know if i like it because it's not symmetric i'm not using it it's not symmetrical some things in life have just got to be symmetrical oh i like this one it's much more of an open weave would this one even fit the big one <laughs> yeah get your big one back out julie oh that's going to be perfect in there right what i have also noticed if i'm putting a double ribbon in sometimes it's a bit too wibbly wobbly to fit inside that so just use your ruler to straighten it and sort of flatten it and try again it's going in let's see whether i can put my ruler in and use that to poke it inside i'm going to put this flat on my table i'm going to find another end of my ribbon This is my perfectionism coming in again. It's got to go in perfect. It's got to be lined up to, to within an inch of its life. <laughs> can I slide the ruler out now and have that stay? I can indeed. Eh? Top idea, missus. And I'm going to come in with fingers and start to crush this one down. Oh, this one's harder to crush, this big one. Mm. I'm going to hit it with an hammer. Don't worry, it's my craft hammer. It's quite small. It's just going to jump off, isn't it? Because I'm afraid if I pick it up and start squeezing this with my pliers, it might jump out. There's probably a really good way of doing this if you make jewellery, but guess what? I don't make jewellery. I've dabbled in past, so I've got all these bits and pieces, but I'm quite often... <laughs> In a lot of things, I'm self-taught. Who's got time sometimes to look into something and research it and find out how you're supposed to do it when these things are in front of you and you can just start messing? Oh, mm, so actually, that's done that equally, if not better. I didn't get quite. I didn't get very uh, wonky, did I? Do you know when I wanted it at an angle? one coming out that way and one that way that didn't seem to happen oh. <laughs> oh sorry i'm snorting now stop it 
I, I really had to just hit that one more time just for fun of it. Scissors, where have you gone? Big chompy scissors. I'm just going to cut that off. I like it anyway. I'm thinking, oh yeah, that's lovely. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a bulb pin and pin something on. Where's my bulb pins? I just like playing. my leaf charms yeah we'll put a leaf on this one i'm not going to take three days choosing which leaf either i'm going to come in i'm going to pick out all the smaller ones put that one on the other one so i'm not going to use that one uh, that's a smaller one that's a smaller one oh i've got two Oh, the end of one leaf's gone through the... That's better. That's a smaller one. So, yeah. Oh, feather. Oh, we've got that lovely feather, haven't we? Oh, I do like that feather. Mm. That fe yeah, do you know I want to do the feather now? Even though I've got all these leaves, I'm going to do the feather. Yeah, sorry, leaves. You didn't quite make it. Right. Do you know what? I'm going to attach it to the top so it just dangles down in front of the feather. In front of the lace. So let's bring some jump rings in. These are 5mm ones. What others did I get out? Oh, 4mm is too small. But I think 8mm might be a bit big. Let's have a look and see. Do -do -do. Mm, that's not too big. That's not too big. I like that. So I'm going to open this jump ring up. I'm going to use a big one, I think, to attach to the top and then a small one to attach to the leaf. So, yeah, get the small one first because it's the leaf you're doing first, missus. Do I even have an antique bronze small one? Yeah, that's it. Uh, BB Craft do sell the jump rings, but I can't comment on their jump rings as I don't have any. But end it there, jump rings a jump ring, isn't it? A jump ring's a jump ring. So I'll pop my little leaf on. When you do the jump rings, never pull them apart. Did you see how I just twisted it? You hold the side of the jump ring with one pair of pliers, and then. You will straighten it up with the next. I'm going to straighten this up. I'm going to reconnect the two ends because I'm going to thread some ball chain through this so I don't need to keep it open to add anything else. So that is spot on. Right, let's grab some ball chain. In fact, I can do my big jump ring as well, can't I? Because I'm threading ball chain through that. So find... I can't even find fasten it. I can just see it there where it closes. So rather than pull it apart, I've just got two pieces of pliers and I'm twisting. Yeah, just enough to pass whatever I want to onto that ring. And in this case, I want to put the end of my bracelet clip. And then to bring it back together, twist again. Yeah, and then I test it with my finger me to see if it's flush because I can't always see. Yeah, that's fine. That way, the jump ring doesn't lose any strength and it's not going to keep wanting to come open. It'll be much more secure. It's not fine jewellery. We're not going to come in and solder it. We're going to trust that that will hold it. So, oh yeah, that's going to go on there. So I'm going to use a piece of ball chain. Well, I'm going to use... A piece when I can find end. <laughs> I, uh, I've uh, got a bit giddy with this ball chain. Here we go. I've also brought some old scissors for cutting it this week. When I did my unboxing and I cut it with my big Tim Holtz scissors, afterwards I thought, Julie, why did you do that? But actually, I think that's a testament to how easy the ball chain is to cut and how good those scissors are. They were fine. They survived the experience. 
There were no trauma sustained. So I need it about that long, I think. Get one of the tiny little connectors. Yeah, I don't know what it is in these connectors. I don't know if it's something to do with the manufacturing process. But some seem blocked. But look. I don't know if it's cardboard or... I don't know, but it does come out very easy. Yeah, it's gone now. I don't know what it is. So, one little ball goes into one end. Can you see, I do find these quite fiddly, but I can just about manage it because I love it so much. That's one. So, this has got to thread need to make sure I'm getting this leaf that way so I want my ball chain to thread through there first through the front yeah you can do it I'm not giving my pliers out to hold it so I want it like that I'm then going to take it up through the jump ring if you can see and I'm then going to come in Put the ball chain onto the end clasp. Is this one going to behave? No, it's another one of those that just needs opening up a tiny bit. And I usually do that by poking end of my tweezers in or the end of a pokey tool. Come on, you know you want to do it. Is it getting too dark for us to see anything? No, I think we can see. There we go, done it. So let's see what that looks like now. Oh, oh, I quite, oh look at that, I love it. It's come down a lot further than I were expecting, but I like it. Yeah. And then, what I would do to put that onto something is I would use a bulb pin or a second length of that chain. at that you could even hang the leaf with the bulb pin leaf it's a feather woman it's a feather <laughs> the feather with the bulb pin and yeah attach the top with the ball chain I'm pretty pleased with that so we've got that I could do the iron in that lace I saw someone and I can't remember who it was she was using hair straighteners, hair straighteners for little bits like this to iron them. That's just a genius idea. Angela Kerr, I think it was. I'm sure it were Angela Kerr. I was like, wow. <laughs> that idea has just blown me away. So we've got that. We've got that. It's just playing. But like I said before, I didn't have much of this. And I was like very frugal with it, but now I'm a bit like, yeah, let's get used. We'll have a bit here and a bit there. I've got that one there. I don't think that one actually needs. I may have put a flower, a flower, a leaf. What would I say if I could speak? Yeah, I'm going to grab a large jump ring, I think. That's the wrong colour, that's copper. We want the bronze, bronze, antique bronze. Yeah, I'll grab an antique bronze one open it up so I'm going to grab it with my these there's probably a name for these in fact these are wrong ones they're just very smooth angled pliers but it's grabbing these big jump rings no problem these jump rings are so well it's really hard to find the join I can't see it I'm feeling for it This is why you don't use pliers that don't have ridges on. Right. <clears throat> Change the pliers. So hold it with your ridged pliers. They all have names, these pliers. No idea what names are. I probably researched it when I bought them. Can't remember. They've all come from different places at different times. Right. What did I say I'm putting on that? I'm putting that on. And I'm putting a leaf on. Because I'm just going to have that one dangled out front. Yeah. That'll be good. So now I'm going to come in and close it up. Sideways, not apart. You heard it then. 
just nip back up if it's only a tiny bit out I just come in sometimes and just press it along the join yeah that's perfect well as perfect as it needs to be oh, I quite like that one now yeah so we've got some little messy charms and a little journal closure or two just we're messing with bits of ribbon and things that you're supposed to make bracelets from and yeah little bits of charms and ribbon ends from BB craft loving these I can't wait to add these to some of my journals so that's it not a very long one today I have got another couple of projects using some of the BB craft items coming up I'm going to be making some shabby chic flowers with my hair clip kit but yeah have a go at these if you've got this kind of stuff yeah you don't have to use things as they are intended yeah they're not only for bracelets <clears throat> and yeah quite enjoyed that i'm going to show up now and go out and do something else so <laughs> thank you for joining me i hope you did enjoy it i hope it gave you a few good little ideas and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much bye